I'm Kelsey Terrace with the Children's Museum of Cleveland. I hope you saw Miss Susanna's story time with the classic book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If you haven't, you can visit our website, cmcleveland.org, to find this story time and many other online programs as well. Today, I'm here to show you in my kitchen how I make an easy no-bake cookie recipe. Now, I babysit several children in the area, and I've been making these for them as a snack since they were two years old, and even though one of them is now 11 years old, she still requests this quite often as an after-school snack. All you need is a bowl to mix everything in, a banana, you want one that's a pretty good ripeness so it gets a nice um, mushy texture to it, but not as ripe as you would use for banana bread, some quick oats, and I like to use peanut butter, but you can use almond butter or any other nut butter of your choice. And then I don't have any at my house today, but the kids often like when I sneak a few chocolate chips in there as well. So the first thing you're going to do is peel your banana. And I like to break it into some smaller pieces and spread it into my bowl. And then I'm just going to take a fork and mash this down. And then once it is properly mashed a good consistency, I honestly don't really measure when I make these cookies. I'd put in about a half cup of the quick oats and a really good large spoonful of the peanut butter. And when I start mixing it, if it's becoming too dry, I add a little bit more peanut butter. If it's too sticky, I add a few more oats. So my banana is all mashed in my bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add about that half cup of oats and then a big spoonful of peanut butter as well. And I'm just gonna kind of mix it all together. And honestly, one of the easiest ways to mix this together is just by using my hands. So if you haven't already washed your hands real well, make sure you are washing them now, and then go ahead and stick your hands in here and start mixing all this banana and oats together. And again, if it's too sticky, you're gonna want more oats. If it's too dry, a little bit more peanut butter. This is a really great sensory experiment too. If you want to just let your children get their hands in here as well, they can feel what it's like. So mine is definitely too sticky. Needs more oats. The kids I watch call these peanut butter balls. You can call them that. Um, they have lots of banana, so you can call them a banana treat. When they were really little, when they were still taking their afternoon naps, this was kind of sometimes the way I would bribe them. I would tell them I'd make them some cookies if they took a good nap. And we would make these healthy banana oat treats. So then once you have a good consistency, just kind of like a cookie dough consistency, good enough to work with, but not too wet, not too dry, you're gonna form them into these little balls. And then I just get some plates out, I make these balls, and then they're good to go. Again, if I had some chocolate chips, I put a few chocolate chips on the top for the kids, but I don't have any of those today. You could also put some nuts on the top. It's up to you and what your family likes to eat. So I hope you enjoyed this no-bake cookie recipe. I also hope you head over to our website, cmcleveland.org, to see some more of our programs. Have a great day.